Good morning, everyone. Happy Tuesday. We made it through Monday with flying colors. So I thought it was going to be worse yesterday than what it was at work. And it was fine. Everything was great. Everyone showed up and we all worked together good. And I think it helped that we weren't that busy. Today, on the other hand, we have um, one of our other regulars coming back. So we've got the three regulars plus myself. What was that? I was getting a notification. And I think we're gonna be okay, hopefully. But on Tuesdays and Thursdays is one of our busy days, but the librarian came yesterday. Oh my God. Anyway, so I was scrolling through Facebook trying to get all of like the news that I kind of catch up on and one of the people that I follow on Facebook is Richard Simmons I absolutely love him I grew up with Richard Simmons my mom used to did my mom used to do Richard Simmons workout tapes I don't think she did but like he was really popular when I was growing up and then also like I feel like when my kids were little his his tapes were really popular as well and like I would do them and stuff like sweating to the oldies and all that kind of stuff but anyway and then he went on hiatus and we thought that the maid you know was taking over his finances and there was just like a big to do and all that stuff and now he's on Facebook and he is posting at least we think it's him I think it's him I think it's him I pray it's him anyway he posted yesterday this like this post that was taken out of context, 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 whatever. Anyway, and it basically said, friends, I am dying. Like, and then like, you know, hug your loved ones, listen to good music, do things you never thought that you were going to do or that you've always wanted to do, blah, 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 blah. Well, I was just like, oh my God, Richard Simmons is dying. Like, he, does he have cancer? Like, does he have prostate cancer? Like, what's going on? And then it was like, I, he waited a while. I think it was like three or four hours later. He posted another post saying, oh my God, I'm not dying. Like, we're all dying. Like, everyone, as minutes passed, we're all dying. But, like, the news outlets took it to the max. I kind of did, too. I thought, holy shit, he's sick. He's go He's going to go. But, anyway, so that was, like, a big thing for me yesterday. Because I thought, oh, my God, he's dying. Like, and I mean, he's, you know, I don't know how old he is. How old is Richard Simmons? I'm guessing he's probably, like, in his late 60s. Seven, he might he might be in his 70s I don't know but he has been posting on Facebook which he has like songs or whatever that he has done which I didn't even know on YouTube and he's been posting the links on Facebook and I am just dying they're giving me like disco prince vibes um, and I love them I should like I should play one for Miss Judy because they're so good. They're just so good. But anyway, and what do y'all think of Princess Kate? Or is she a princess? I don't know. She's not the queen yet. What do we all think of that whole scandal? By the way, I am stuck behind a fucking bus who is literally going 20 miles an hour. Why are we going so slow? Oh, there's a bus stop. For fuck's sakes. Well, where's the kid? We're stopping in the middle of the road for the bus stop. Where's the kid? Oh, there he is. Oh my God. Oh, sweet Jesus. Why doesn't he just, well, I suppose he can't cross the street. Oh, this is dangerous. This bus is stopping you guys in the middle of the street. Didn't pull over or anything which I get, I didn't know that they could just stop right in the middle of the road and have the kids get on, the, this is a busy street. Well, that's where he lives. Interesting. There has to be a safer way to do that. 
anyway, so we all thought Kate was dead. Kate's not supposedly dead. We don't know. Then someone said the king is dead and that's what they're going to announce. There is going to be an announcement. I don't know what's happening. What do you guys all think is going on? Does it have anything to do with her abdominal surgery? What is, ha did she have like her gallbladder removed? And then she like, cause okay, when people have gallbladder issues, they can, they can be like upset stomach throwing up constantly all the time. So everybody was saying like, oh, she's, you know, maybe she's got an eating disorder. She's hiding it, blah, blah, blah. But you guys forget, there are a lot of like physical, um, medical things that can happen to you that can make you lose weight. It doesn't mean that, you know, whatever, she's lost weight or whatever. Um, cause I know the gallbladder, like, you know, you can vomit, you can have the diarrheas for a long, long time until they actually figure out what the hell is wrong with you. There are other issues that people have, you know, like lupus or, um, Crohn's, all different sorts of things that can make you gain and lose and gain and lose. Thyroid condition can make you lose or gain. Anyway, so she was spotted yesterday at the flower shop with the prince. Okay. Then there's speculation that the prince got his friend, childhood friend, whatever, pregnant around Christmas. Kate found out about it. She said, fuck you, get out. I don't want to have anything to do with you. I'm moving. I'm living in my separate quarters with the kit, whatever. And they're going to announce it that he got another woman pregnant. I don't think that's what it is either. They're not going to announce that, you guys, if that happened. They're not going to bring shame to their, their family name. If that happens, they're just going to have this kid be a bastard a bastard prince like they're not gonna tell anybody about it but anyway <clears throat> so they were at the flower shop yesterday it said that Kate was at an outing with her children with the sports you can't tell me that she went to a sports activity event with her kids and not any of those parents pulled out their cell phone and took a little shot you cannot tell me that that didn't happen. So I don't, I don't know if I believe that she was act. Oh, now I'm stuck behind a semi and he's not turning. What's happening? You can't tell me that one of those parents did not take a shot of her watching her. Cause I'm thinking like a soccer game. Okay. She's on the field. She's on the field or like hockey or whatever. She's in the stand. She's watching the kids. Someone had to have taken a photo of that. But anyway, so she's at the plant shop is where I'm going with this. She's at the, at the plant shop with her husband, the prince, and they're buying flowers or they're buying something because they both came out with two bags, which I find interesting that they were both carrying a bag. Let me tell you why. The bag that she was carrying was a medium-sized bag, and he had a medium-sized bag, too. I don't know what these are, but wouldn't a true gentleman prince for a princess carry both of the bags? Or did they think that if he was carrying both of those bags, oh, what's wrong with Kate? She can't carry the fucking bag. You know, I, I mean, everything you think, you figure has to be calculated so intricately intricately is that a word I don't know I just I don't know it's just so bizarre to, the whole thing is bizarre to me where am I gonna park what's happening here I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to make it stand parking spot we're gonna try we are going to try oh there's another one right up here that I can just go into but anyway you guys so I don't know I don't know what they're gonna say and then they were saying, get this, there is a Kate Middleton lookalike. And they're saying that that wasn't even her. That wasn't even Kate. That was the lookalike. And there is a, a woman who poses as her who looks like her. It could not, maybe it wasn't her. She, they were walking really fast. Wherever they needed to go, they were walking fast. 
And you know, you know that that was a deliberate, right? Like, you know that all these people who get stopped by the paparazzi, like, and then interviewed by the paparazzi as they're getting stopped, you know that that, like, they pay for that. Like, the star, the celebrity pays for that paparazzi to do that. So it's like more coverage. So like, obviously they got money from TMZ. I, I don't know. I just think it's so crazy. And why do we care? Why do we care? I care though. I do care. So you guys, I got something from Canada in the mail. Um, oh, by the way, any of you who have donated to the Angela and Judy show um, this week, I will be doing the donation videos next week because I want to wait with Miss Judy because, you know, Miss Judy's a part of the Angela and Judy show too. So I will go to Starbucks with Miss Judy um, next week when she gets back from vacation. I just want to put that out there. But anyway, you guys, I was going through my bank statements like one does. And I noticed a 12 cent charge. And I'm like, oh my God, I'm getting scammed. Someone is hacking into my account. So I call the bank up and I'm like, listen, I got a 12 cent charge on my phone or on my checking. What is this about? And she said, oh, she said, it's because you ordered something from uh, overseas. And I'm like, oh, my plant food. So you guys, I, I thought it was going to be a lot bigger. This cost me $10. This is seaweed, sea, like a liquid seaweed mineral supplement for my plants. So when I water them, I told you guys I'm really into these plants now. So when I water them, I can put this liquid, oh my God, this liquid stuff into the water and it helps... Um, I can't read anything on this bottle because of my eyes. Vitamins for plants. Concentrated natural liquid seaweed provides a wide range of micronutrients and trace elements. It makes up to 50 liters. Shake well. Apply every two to, th apply every two to three weeks. So basically, I mean, when you're bother, when you're, bleh, I can't speak, when you're bottom watering your plants, you only need to do it like once or twice or once a week or once every two weeks, right? So each time you do it, like you, you take a big bowl, you put water in it, you take your plant out of the original pot and you stick it in the water with the pot with the holes and then it just like goes from the bottom. But you put this in the water but here's the thing. It says mix 5 ml to 1 liter. Well, I don't know what the hell an ml is. I'm going to have to do a, a translation. Like 5 ml is equivalent to how many teaspoons? Because this is a tiny little thing. I thought it was going to be bigger. So this, this was $10 and then $5 to ship, which isn't too bad, I guess. But yeah, we'll see how it works. Shoot, I'm going to have to bring it in my purse because I don't want it in the car because it's supposed to get cold today. Anyway, I've got my mushroom coffee once again. I've got my protein shake in there that I never drank yesterday because they had leftover pizza and it was old and crusty. And I ate like a piece and a half of the pepperoni and it was gross and I'm upset about it. I should have just had my shake. And then I had a half of a muffin. God damn. Um, but yeah, it was good anyway. So today I'm only going to have my, and my mushroom coffee, you guys, I love it. It has a little nutty kick to it. And now I'm living for it, especially at work. And I feel like it does have caffeine in it, but I feel like it doesn't have as much caffeine as a regular cup of coffee. More than just coffee, it says it is. How can I find out how much caffeine is in here? We got, what does it say it's got? One gram of fat. 
less than one gram of carb, zero protein. Well, what's in it? Contains tree nuts. What? Oh, I can't read any of this. It's all in such, it's all in such little tiny print. It doesn't say how much caffeine is in here. It says it's vegan and it's got 20,000 MGs of mushrooms. It's got energy, stress relief, focus, immune support, healthy digestion, and it fights oxidative, oxidatives, or it fights stress, whatever. Drink daily. Over time, the mushrooms in our blend will balance your body and mind. Use two servings per day to get accelerated results. Huh. Interesting. Anyway, you guys, I have to go in. I'm going to be late. I don't want to go in today. Oh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. That's all I have left. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. I can do it. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. I'm going to have a great day. I'm trying to self hype myself up because Judy's not here to, to help me hype up. Actually, she's not going to, she wouldn't be a help because she would probably be like not wanting to go in either. Okay, you guys have a great day. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget, I have Venmo, Cash App, and Super Thanks listed down below in my description box. And um, we will be using those sponsorships for next week. But have a great day and I will see you guys all later. Bye everyone.